Josh, uh, congratulations on the uh, big, big win uh, to solidify your number one ranking in the country. Um, first and foremost, uh, how did it feel to be playing in front of 4,500 people in your home gym? Oh man, it's one of those moments that you dream of, man. It's surreal. Like when I heard, I didn't even hear the number, and then I was told after that it was that many. I was like, oh my gosh, like, no way! I've, I've never played in, in such an atmosphere like that. So to to really be a part of that was you know, once in a lifetime experience, and uh, to be able to be a part of it with this team and with these boys and against that um, uh, high caliber of a team, uh, it was awesome. So yeah. What did, uh, what was the biggest challenge for you guys uh, with UCLA's attack? Uh, you know they 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 run a really balanced offense, and to be able to kind of make sure we account for everything there was kind of like the game plan there. Uh, so a lot of it was just making sure we play in our system as well as you know make sure we you know we account for everything. They, they run a great offense. Micah kills it with. With the, you know making sure everybody's getting sets and and doing his own and killing his own ball, so it was it was awesome to play against that and be able to like feel that pressure from 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 everywhere and kind of play that because you don't play a lot of teams that have that you know teams that you know maybe uh, lack big or lack a set or dumb and this team has it all so it was awesome to be a part of that. Uh, you are uh, blessed to be playing with uh, one of the best, uh, or two of the best uh, pin hitters in the country, and TJ and Kyle. Can you uh, comment what it's like to play with them, not only uh, in, in the gym but on, on uh, match day? Oh well, one of them, they're uh, one, they're, they're they're great guys, they're awesome. So um, talk to any, talk to both of them, and, and they'll they'll you know just genuinely like gravitate towards those kind of personalities. So. It's it's really easy for me to play with that and, and feed off of that and you got a guy like Kyle who can I can throw anything back there, bad set, good set, and he's you know, he's cleaning me up. The same thing with TJ, he's cleaning me up. So um, a lot of a lot of them is 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 just you know, they're, they're such great players that I'm able to just like really kind of free up a little bit and play my game and then and you know, it's it's all good from there. Uh, at the end of um, the fourth set, you guys were down 18 to 15, uh, on a, and then you guys went on an 8-0 run. Seven of those came on you, your serving. Uh, what, tell, take us into that. Um, what was your mindset? What, what was what was your what were you feeling during that uh, run? Mm -hmm. So um, initially, I felt like I had a pretty good rhythm uh, as far as my serve. So. Um, I felt like I was rolling, um, so kind of going into that serving run was was making sure I did. I, I repeated the same deal, telling myself I'd do the same thing, um, use my arms, get up, and make sure I put myself in a good situation where I can hit this ball. And from there, you know, you got energy from my boys, from the crowd that kind of just make everything just like, you know, just go. I, you know, it almost makes it. I, I, I hate to say this, like I hate to keep saying this, but it makes things a lot easier to kind of like free up and like. Once I hit those first couple, and then after that third one, I was like, you know what? Now I can get after it, and now I can free up and, and do my thing. And my boys were able to get get my back with keeping me back there and doing playing some great defense and really getting after it. And uh, the curveball question: uh, I already asked this to Micah and to Dante. All right, who has the best uh, hair of the setters uh, on the West Coast? Who has the best hair? Yep. Oh, do you? Man. Me? Oh, I don't know, man. I kind of just keep it high and tight, but Dante, he, he flows, man. He's got the flow going, so much love to him, but, man, they're all good-looking guys. <laughs> Thank you for taking time with us uh, <laughs> off the block blog, and uh, congratulations on the 3-1 victory. Appreciate it, John.